Hello, my name is Emma and I'm here with researcher Nola and we've been chatting all about zebras and their fantastic stripes. And we do have a video about this already, so make sure you go and check that out. But for now, we're going to talk a little bit more about these amazing animals. Yeah. So, hi Nola, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for bringing this fantastic specimen. So, first of all, can we talk about how stripes deter horseflies? Yeah, of course. Now, if you can see, the zebras have black and white stripes, and there is also a difference between the thickness of the stripes. Some of them are very small, like here. Some of them are thicker, like here. And you can imagine if a fly wants to land on the skin, of, of yeah, in this the skin, but in real life, it's a real animal, of course. It really dazzles the fly a little bit, and it can't see really good anymore. Okay, is the animal moving or is it standing still? Where do we have to land? So it's it's really dazzling them. Yeah, yeah. of yeah. course. Um, and I'm just thinking about like the fur here. Like, does mm -hmm. the fur prevent flies landing on them at all or is it a bit too yeah. thin? No, yeah, of course, because you can see here in the midline they have really long hairs and here on the side the, sh the skin is more, or the fur is more shorter. Mm -hmm. So if the skin is or if the fur is shorter, they can land easily on the skin and then suck the blood. But if it's on the midline, it's yeah, yeah. a bit harder for the flies. But they can't have too thick a hair, I imagine, because in the boiling hot, that yeah. would be too good for the zebra. No, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'd be overheating quite a bit. No, definitely, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and I'm just thinking about some of the other theories that people have come up with for why zebras have their stripes. Yeah. And, you know, we've heard about predation and yeah. camouflage and mm -hmm. even like regulating temperature. Yeah. Where do you these sort of ideas come from? Yeah, um, of course, the zebras have white and black colors. And, you know, when you are wearing white clothes in the summer, it's more cool for mm -hmm. yourself than you're wearing black. So that's a little bit the same of the zebras. They have white pieces in the skin and black. So that keeps them regulating the heat a little bit better. Um, but also keep them prevent from predators because the stripes maybe it looks a little bit like trees or grass-like materials. Mm -hmm. So the predators don't know actually if it's an animal or it's a tree or it's like the background of the nature. Yeah, yeah. but the horse fly theory won out eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, and just thinking, how did they find out that it was horse flies that was the reason why yeah. they had stripes? They did a lot of research about that, but one of them is very funny. They put like the horses in the field with um, blankets on them, like white blankets or black blankets or striped blankets. And then they look, okay, what do the flies like the most? The stripy one or the black one or the white ones? Yeah, and, and there's coming out that they like, uh, they don't like the stripy ones. Oh, wow. I can imagine horses now wearing cute coats. That's <laughs> yeah. actually amazing. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> I yeah. don't know how the horses felt about that, but... <laughs> Yeah, really. All in the name of science, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Um, and so just why do zebras want to deter horse flies? Yeah, um, the flies can give them very bad diseases because they can uh, blood suck and then they bring the diseases to the animals. And yeah, the zebras don't want that, of course. It's very dangerous for them and can be fatal for the, de for the zebras. So yeah, it's very important for them to have the stripes. Yeah, good if we had stripes, we could deter mosquitoes yeah, and maybe, things like that, yeah. wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm just thinking, you know, zebras have got this amazing function to help yeah. deter the flies. What yeah. about other animals? Do other animals have anything to help with that? Yeah, uh, we are doing research about antelopes. So they also have stripes, they have vertical stripes, but also horizontal stripes. But the most antelopes are brown with white stripes. Um, the zebras are black with white or brown with white. So there's a lot of variation within the color of the stripes, also the thickness of the stripes, how many stripes they have. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah, many different factors yeah. playing into it. And yeah. what, what kind of antelope have you been looking at then? Uh, we call it the Tragelapus. That's the genus name. Okay. And they have a lot of subspecies within them. So we're looking at like seven subspecies now. Okay, yeah. and, it's, and then you think they use different ways then of deterring the flies, different types of stripes? Uh, yeah, some of them have no stripes at all, some of them have 15 stripes or only two stripes, but also horizontal stripes, mm -hmm. that we are now looking at, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. What's the outcome of that? <laughs> <laughs> and do you know yet, or is that still yet to... It's still yet to <laughs> analyse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Almost there. But, yeah. oh no, this is absolutely fantastic. And I was, I was thinking as well, this mane is really lovely. Like how it's yeah. a bit coarser, isn't it? I take it that's a different function to 
the rest of the body potentially, like the yeah. veins. It yeah, it's really cool. But um, and then the stripes are like really close together here as yeah. well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much for uh, bringing this in. It was yeah, really no lovely. problem. And, yeah, um, yeah, that's what we've got time for. So thank you so much for chatting to me. Thank and, you. Yeah. Well, there we have it. It turns out zebras don't just wear their stripes as a fashion statement. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and comment and let us know what you thought. And subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos.